I mean, this is the number one thing that I think is important in the health of your hair because it has, for me, helped my hair grow more when I had loose natural hair and while I have locks. It's the number one thing that has helped my hair grow strong and at its full capacity, at its full length. Hey y'all, welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl Lolo. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you five benefits of not using oils on your locks. I stopped using oils a little while ago, probably about five or six months ago. And when I took oils out of my regimen, I saw a huge change in the health of my hair and a couple things that I'm gonna mention today. Now, when I say not using oils, I'm talking about putting them directly on the hair or scalp. Now, some of the products that I do use, such as the shampoo bars and the hair mists that I use from a black owned brand called Free the Roots, check them out in the description box. They do have essential oils within the product, but the purpose of the product is not to put oil on my locks, even though it does contain oils. I just wanted to make that specific detail known. So before we get into it, if you are new here to my channel, hello. Here on Holistic Flow, we are creating a safe space, a space for self-love, self-growth and maturity, and we're taking a journey towards an overall better mind, body and spirit connection. So if you're with that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. If you have done that, thank you so much. And let's get back into the video. So first and foremost, if you have never seen my video called Why I Will Never Use Oils On My Locks Again, I recommend you go back and watch that video because I definitely explained why I stopped using oils and the benefits that it brought for me. But I know it's not the same for other people. Other people feel like they need oils in their locks. So this is just something to kind of pick your brain on it if you're new to the idea of not using oils on your hair. Also, the five benefits I'm going to be talking about are kind of listed in an order from least important to me to most important. So let's get into it. Benefit number five of not using any oils on your locks is no stains on your pillows, pillowcases, bonnets, towels, or clothes or your headrests of your car. If you've seen the movie Coming to America, then you know the scene where the, you know, the Soul Glow Brothers uh, family members, they were sitting on the couch and when they got up from the couch, it was like the oil stain where they had laid their head. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jenks, would you please join me? And Mother Jenks, you come up here too. And I've actually experienced that not only when I used to have loose natural hair, but when I used to use oils on my locks. When I would get up from my sleep in the morning, sometimes I would have like extra oil on my pillowcase because even though I wear a bonnet, the oils from my locks had seeped through my bonnet onto my pillowcase. The same thing with clothes. There have been times when I would be oiling my locks and because if you have longer locks and they touch your shoulders, and especially after you've um, finished your wash day routine and your hair is still wet and you go to put oil in it to seal in the moisture, well, if your hair is touching your shirt, then your shirt might get a little bit of oil stains on it and oil stains are very difficult to get out and this can also depend on how much oil you use but usually you know when i used to use oil i used it pretty frequently throughout the week and so it's just bound to happen number four another benefit to not using any oils on your locks is less acne on your face and neck so when I used to use oils on my locks because my locks would often touch my face and my neck, my face and especially around the perimeter of my hairline and on my cheekbones was a lot more prone to acne because whenever you have a buildup of oil around those parts, of course it gets into little groups and pockets and that's how it forms your acne. So if you're somebody who struggles with acne, especially on the face, then you might see a benefit of not using oils at all or not using as much oils 
in your locks or maybe even keeping your hair away from your face or your neck. Number three, this was a huge benefit for me, is the reduction of your locks having that dirty smell. So I remember being on a bus when I was a child and I was sitting behind this lady and you know when you're on a bus the bus isn't like the like the seats aren't that spread out but when somebody else is in front of you and you can smell something and you know that it's a certain smell like when locks are dirty specifically on your scalp i'm not talking about this moldy mildew smell when you know your hair is wet for too long but when your scalp is dirty it has a very distinct smell and that smell comes from a residue of oils on your locks. Ever since I smelled that smell when I was younger, I always thought that like people who had locks, their scalp was, was dirty. But I know like, you know, I was younger and everything like that. I definitely don't think that now because I have locks and I know how to maintain my locks. And I haven't thought that for years, but that is a very common stereotype that people actually um, perpetuate against people with locks unfortunately and while I don't believe that the hair of the locks is actually dirty you can get buildup on the scalp that produces a smell and even if you do wash your hair regularly like every two weeks or every week or however sometimes it's simply the mixture of oils with last night's sweat from your workout with when you went to bed at night and you sweat in your sleep and all of these different elements inside of your scalp. When I stopped using oils, I noticed that this smell in my scalp was gone. And I do understand that you can use essential oils to battle that smell, like peppermint oils, tea tree oils, maybe lavender oils. But to me, you're like covering up this smell because you're just putting oils on top of more oils that's caught that actually caused it i also understand that a lot of people feel like they have to put oils onto their scalp because of scalp conditions or simply the way that their scalp is set up but i know with me not only did using no oils on my scalp produce less smell but they also produced less buildup which is the second benefit counting down on my list. The science behind using oils on your scalp kind of goes like this. When you use oil on something, oil and water don't mix. So if there is any type of moisture, when you put oil on top of that moisture or that, you know, just like wetness, oil will seal in the moisture, yes. But oil creates like this, like it can create a film like a little layer on top of the moisture so that every time your scalp wants to breathe if you put oil on your scalp let's say like every other day or even every day that creates a lot of layers of oil on top of the scalp and the scalp already produces natural sebum which is the natural oils that come from our hair because our body is very smart our body is actually pretty good at healing itself if we kind of do what we're supposed to do and leave it to its own but sometimes too much oils actually prevents our scalp from being able to breathe and get more moisture how it's supposed to so sometimes adding on more oils can lead to more dandruff and more dry scalp because once you put oil on top of water when you go to put more moisture which is water based on top of oil well that water is going to sit on top of the oil because water and oil don't mix so actually putting oil on top of your scalp or on your hair can prevent extra moisture from getting in your hair or penetrating your scalp that's what's been explained to me and it made a lot more sense when I started implementing my current regimen when I stopped using oils directly on my scalp. Now again, the spray that I use from Free the Roots is aloe based, but it also has essential oils in it. I think also the fact that it just comes in a spray form and it's not concentrated product directly on my scalp leaves a light feeling so there's no weighing down on my scalp or there's no like heavy layers on my scalp so 
if you want to reduce buildup, that might be something that you want to try. And then number one on the countdown, we've been counting down to this one. It's sort of implied by everything that I said before, but using no oils helps increase hydration in the hair and the scalp. I mean, this is the number one thing that I think is important in the health of your hair because it has for me helped my hair grow more when I had loose natural hair and while I have locks. It's the number one thing that has helped my hair grow strong and at its full capacity, at its full length. Hydration is also so important for your locks and scalp to prevent breakage of locks, especially as your locks get longer they're heavier because you have more hair on your head. So kind of like all of the things that I said before tie into the hydration. And I recently saw a video about a lady explaining the difference between hydration and moisture. If I can go back and find that video, I will definitely insert that clip and tag her wherever she may be. Lying every so. chance you get, you lie. I don't think but you so. better not you lie around me. Talk. Greetings. Today I'm in a blazer because I'm in court and I'm answering for my crimes today. Now I hopped up on the enter of net and said that oils do not moisturize locks. Now I just dropped an in-depth video about hydration versus moisturization link in my bio but let me give you the quick rundown. And I'm sure we actually all understand that these are two different things but actively using them interchangeably can at some point cause confusion. And so the fact remains that I did use the word moisture where I should have used the word hydration technically. Now speaking technically, oils do moisturize locks but when we talk about what we are typically attributing to what we mean as moisture, bounce, elasticity, malleability, these are things that we typically say to mean the hair is moisturized when in fact when the hair has these characteristics that means the hair is hydrated. Moisturization has nothing to do with adding bounce to the hair but retaining the nutrients and the vitamins that are provided to hair by way of hydration retaining these elements inside of the hair shaft. But moisture is like the initial response to your hair being wet like moisture is when you just have finished washing your hair and you just finished your wash day moisturization routine but hydration is what lasts like hydration is lasting after the moisture after you have put your moisturizing products on and sealed in your locks with that oil. The next day, does your hair feel dry and crunchy? It might, right? So then you feel like you have to moisturize again, but moisturizing is just like making your hair wet. It's not actually hydrating your hair, but hydration is what we wanna more so work towards because that's the long lasting effect of healthy locks. So even though a lot of people do get moisture out of using oils, I have found that not using oils has increased the amount of hydration in my hair because they used to be dry and crunchy all the time, but I don't get that dry and crunchy sensation anymore because I know and understand that I'm no longer depriving my hair of getting extra moisture, which will lead to more hydration. So was this video helpful for you? Maybe let me know some benefits that you have seen from not using oils if you don't use oils in your locks. And then also if you do use oils in your locks, maybe tell some of the benefits of using oils. Maybe we can, you know, do both sides here. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know whenever I post and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, I'm sending peace your way, love your way, enjoy it to you, your family, and your friends. All right, y'all, peace.